Dragon Buffalo is about um, the relationship between friendship and business and three underprivileged, underachieving men. They obviously do little scams on the side and we join them in the middle of a scam. Really the play is about betrayal among friends and about how men are with each other when um, honor is at stake. I play a character named Donnie Dubrow. He owns a, a resale shop. He associates with a, kind of a shadowy crowd, but he also has his very own way, own, own ideas on friendship and business. And it's usually whatever it takes to get ahead. He tries to, um, I think, take care of people. He wants to be uh, what they call a stand-up guy. And uh, he wants to take care of this kid, Bobby, played by Tom Sturridge. Teach is one of the three characters. He's the character I'm playing. He's a rather sad character. If he's been given opportunities in life, he's missed them. He's one of the dispossessed, badly educated um, hucksters. What attracted me is sort of the same thing that attracts me to any part, which is when I read it, I felt something, um, and I felt that I could maybe do him justice. Something that I'm particularly interested in is what it is about men that means, and the socialization of men, that means that they can't necessarily express the things that they really want to say, or the things that they feel towards each other. And that's because society and societal conventions don't allow them to. I first came across David Mamet really through his essays, because it was standard reading when you're a drama student. Every pause, as in Pinter, is intended the rhythm of his language is very muscular, has a, a, a real sense of rhythm, a very pointed rhythm and muscularity, all of which he is in total control of. When I read it, I see myself. Um, and I think it's done right when people watch it, they'll see themselves. And I think we need to be show me we are. It'll be an engaging, thought-provoking, and a, a bubble, I hope, entertaining play for all, all generations. <laughs>